when you've had 113 amateur fights, it doesn't matter. You, you, you rock up to a tournament, you could be fighting Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Indonesia, you could be fighting Thailand. You just have to adjust to the style. I'm a professional. You know, when the fight fell through with Luis Franco, I stayed stayed focused. My team told me to stay focused. 50 Cent rang us and said to stay focused, you're going to get another fight. We made a little couple of changes, but that, that's boxing, you know what I mean? Fights, fights happen, fights fall through, but I'm ready now. I hope it's going to be a good fight. No, it's a great opportunity for me uh, because I have just 15 fights and I got this chance. It's a big chance for me, for my team, and I'm happy that we're going to fight Friday night. It's Friday Night Fights at Foxwoods Casino in Connecticut. It'll be broadcast live on ESPN. That's this Friday, March 1st. And now, some highlights from the press conference. In the main event, IBF featherweight champion Billy Dip looks to defend his title against Russia's undefeated Evgeny Gradovich. Promoted by 50 Cent and New York's own Lou DiBella, it will be broadcast live from Foxwoods Casino in Connecticut on ESPN's Friday Night Fights beginning at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. This event March 1st is going to be really exciting. You know, I've, I've got an opportunity to see the discipline within uh, Billy Dibbs' camp and to see the, the professional discipline, the, the professional, uh, what am I trying to say to you? Yeah, the dedication that's involved in, and not just in Billy's camp, but I've seen it in the best camps in boxing. I've seen it in Floyd Mayweather's camp. I've seen it in uh, Gamboa's training camps prior to this. But to see it actually reflect a similar type of uh, commitment is interesting. So I, it's so different. The fighters are so different from each other. And to see them have that in common, that ground. And, and I understand why they... They're passionate about music because it takes their mind off uh, how long and how much they have to put into doing what they do. And now they're having the opportunity to offer a younger demographic, the audience that's consistently involved in pop and hip hop culture, to bring that, that energy back to the actual sport of boxing is exciting for me to be a part of it and to support having them continue to have a, a, an actual sport and art form that I've enjoyed as a kid, continue to, to keep being a thriving sport that everyone actually enjoys and always cage demos. When, you, when I get a chance to see new sports come in, like the UFC, and 56% of their demographic is 16 to 34 years old, when I check the stats and it tells me that 30 the boxing is 30 and up, that only the a more mature audience is interested in that. I say that there's new things that we can inject into it to make it interesting. And I look forward to being a part of that. How much first are you going to see me put on fabulous performance? This is uh, my second coming now. And, you know, I look at it as a second opportunity to come back to America now and showcase my ability. I'm a completely different fighter. I'm a completely different animal. And uh, when the bell rings, you're going to definitely see that. So guys, tune in. Uh, all the people that are going to be watching on ESPN, make sure you tune in. It's going to be a great fight, and I promise fireworks. Evgeny Gradovich, I know that you've only had 15 professional fights, but I know that a guy that's getting an opportunity at a world title will fight like he's had 30. I know you're going to fight out of your skin, and I know you've worked extremely hard in your training camp. You've got a great camp. We've got a great camp, so it's going to make for fireworks. Thank you very much for accepting the fight, and uh, thank you SMS Promotions for allowing me to come out here and showcase my ability, all my sponsors, I love you all very much, Bonsdale, you guys have been amazing to me, the team looks fantastic and uh, I'm very appreciative, Bill Cairns, thanks for coming out, the whole team, I love you guys very, very much, thank you. Tell me a little bit about your strategy, what, what do you plan to do? But You know, it's, uh, it's not secret, it's, uh, we're going to see what he's going to do. It's a fight and make our work, you know. Uh, not special strategy, you know. We'll see. Tell us about your style. Are you do you punch a lot or or uh, body shot? Uh, some people uh, called me the Mexican Russian punching machine, so I throw a lot of punches. Yes, 
um, but I want to say that uh, every opponent is di different and we'll see what he's going to do and we're going to do too. Aha, okay. And what, what, what weight is this again? 126. And, and what is your weight right now? Uh, 127.5, maybe 128. Oh, so you need to lose a pound or two. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm always good. I'm maximum 10, 12 pounds over my weight when I rest, you know. So I'm. I wish it was that easy for me. I, I, I have a hard time. <laughs> I've been trying to get off a pound and I can't. <laughs> I. I, I'm gonna tell you my diet. What is your diet? <laughs> Nothing difficult, you know. You should eat chicken, fish, vegetables, yeah. a lot of water. No sweets, right? I have a sweet too. No sweet, no salt. No, no, no salt. Little bit, just <laughs> little bit. Yeah. And, and, and just to end this, how's it gonna feel to fight here in, in uh, the U.S.? Great. I like I like United States because uh, United States give me a, a big chance show my fight show my boxing. Yes, uh, I like it. An opportunity. Yes, and the opportunity. Correct. Give a shout out to your fans. I want to say thank you for help and for support me. Let's get it done. Let's get it done, and that's Friday night on ESPN Fights. Yes. We have two brothers of uh, Billy Dib and, and, and also uh, manager, correct? Yeah, that's right. Tell us about the man. Oh, look, Billy's uh, just an absolute gentleman. He's um, you know always out there, willing to help out. You know the the disadvantaged, the uh, the battlers. Um, you know he's a people's champion. He's uh, a really down to earth guy who um, you know is very talented at boxing. Oh, look, I'd agree completely with Emad. Um, Look, incredibly talented as well. He's a really hard worker. What you don't see is what happens behind the scenes. Uh, really proud of him as a brother and really proud of the family that we've come from. But um, under Emad's management, he's, uh, we, we, made, we maintain his humility. He remains humble and that's most important, more than anything else. He's still our brother, far and above anything else. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, 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 the gentleman he's fighting supposedly throws a lot of punches. You know, are, are, is he ready for that? Yeah, well, it's funny. It's funny you bring that up because, um, you know, a clip went on YouTube about two weeks ago when the fight got announced and um, Gradovich was coming out saying, uh, Gradovich's trainer, sorry, was saying that Gradovich just threw 100 punches in the round. And I was about to call Billy and say, hey, did you see that YouTube clip? And Billy gave me a call and said, hey, did you see that YouTube clip? He threw 100 punches, and I just did some sparring, and I threw 150 punches. <laughs> so, you know, Billy's very competitive, so he's going to throw a lot of punches yeah. as well. You know? <laughs> so this is going to be a fast and furious fight, I take it. Oh, look, it's going to make for a great fight. I think both of the boys, look, you fight it for a world title, so, you know, you can't leave anything in the tank for a world title, and uh, it's really terrific. I mean, both want to throw some punches. Obviously, Billy's, uh, as you said, this is like his second return to America, so there's a different mature Billy. Uh, and Evgeny, of course, you know, when you get a chance like a world title, you're not going to uh, take that line down, but I guarantee you this, if Evgeny throws 100, Billy's going to throw more than that, and Billy's not going to uh, take a step back at all. Hey, and that's Friday at Foxwoods, uh, ESPN. Hey, hey, and this is the family, hey. a family affair here. Yeah family out here you know we've got such a big support crew and as I said look um, you know we're all proud of Billy and first and foremost he's a brother and and that's really important that's how he maintains his humility and that's why it's important that he remembers that um, you know he's got to help other people out there's a responsibility when you're a world champion and that is to be the best person you can be above and beyond anything else and that's why we're all out here good luck thank you thank, thank you, you very much. Uh -huh. thank you. what I did was I decided to go under the radar basically stay off TV and just fight, you know, fight as many credible people as I could. You know, I had to start believing in myself. Forget what people were saying. Well, it didn't bother me that people were saying, oh, he's, he's, he's not a good fighter, he's a hoax, he's, he's a fake. I didn't, that didn't bother me. What bothered me was that I wanted to know how good I was. You know, so what I did was I went about my business, I stayed under the radar. You know, I fought a lot of guys 19 and 1, 15 and 0, uh, you know, uh, guys with great records, some guys with bad records, but it was all experience leading to the point where I fought Jorge Lasieva for the world title. Lasieva was the favorite to beat me, couldn't win a round. My next title defense, I fought a guy that's 30-0, um, stopped him in one round with a body shot. Then I fight um, Eduardo Escobedo. People still don't give me my respect. They say, oh, Escobedo is going to stop him. Escobedo is too strong. Escobedo. 
Escobedo quit on a stool. I asked to speak to Gary Shaw. Gary, Gary Shaw says to me that you never see a Mexican quit on a stool. You made a Mexican quit on a stool. You know, it was a great performance. And as I said, you know, I've been working extremely hard. The last guy that I fought was 28 wins, 26 knockouts, and two losses. You know, like so. I'm, I'm, I haven't been fighting guys that are going to give me easy victories. I've been working extremely hard. I know what I've done in this preparation for this fight. I know what I can do in the future. Each fight is another stepping stone to a bigger platform, and, and that's what I'm really looking forward to. You know, basically, I, you know, I, I hired a new team. I changed my ways. I went from being the boss to having a boss, and I, and I started following the instructions. And uh, you know, with, with, the, uh, with the help of Billy Hussain and Hussain Hussain, and the great team that we have down at Body Punch Gym. I, I put it all together and, uh, you know, the last 15 fights you've seen 12 stoppages. So that's what I'm talking about, being a different animal. When I was fighting before, I wasn't really stopping anybody. Now, whatever I hit, I destroy. Believe me when I tell you, you know, the Arab world does know about me now and they know that I'm the only Arab world champion in, in the sport of boxing. And that's big because I know they're looking for a star. You know, and, and as you know, there's a lot of rich people in Dubai and a lot of the sheikhs like to get behind, you know, get behind the athletes. They love the athletes. They just love to be around it. So when you got Billy Dib and 50 Cent and the team traveling over, you know, that, that builds a lot of hype. And I know that, you know, if 50 Cent does a performance over there by himself, he's going to get 10, 15,000 people just by himself. That's a minimal. So, you know, once he announces that Billy Dib's going to fight on the card and we're going to do a music slash boxing event, you got fireworks. My prediction? Yes, sir. A great fight. <laughs> uh, I heard you whisper in someone's ear before, you're going to stop the guy. You want to say that out loud now? I'm going to stop the guy. All right. Thanks, Billy Dib. Thank you. Well. I'm Crystal Hart reporting on the Friday Night Fights, March 1st on ESPN, and thanks for watching.